Welcome back to She Knows Everyone. I am here with our November girl crush, Rachel McAdams. We're so excited to have you on oh, She Knows. Thank you. I'm excited to be on She Knows. Yeah, well, first I want to talk to you about the new movie you have coming out, About Time. Okay. What initially attracted you to this character and the storyline? Because you've done a few time-traveling movies. I know, it's weird. <laughs> it's, it's starting to be a theme in my life. I don't know what that's about. But um, I was just, I loved, I loved just the sentiment behind the film and, you know, about uh, living each day to the fullest. And, um, and I just, I really wanted to work with Richard Curtis. You know, I'd heard rumors that it might be his last film. So it seemed like a, a kind of a last chance type okay. of thing. Well, the movie is great and it has that that moral of appreciating the little things and every day just taking everything in. What have you learned about life and love and your experiences so far? Well, I think it's just that. It's that sort of, you know, this this idea that if you could go back and change it, would you really? And sort of embracing the messiness of life and the mis the so-called mistakes that are in it and maybe they lead you to something greater and they they develop you as a person and they develop your relationships so it's sort of you know trying to take a a new approach to um, all the curveballs that life will inevitably They're throw always your way. You. Yeah. 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 Is there anything you would go back and change in your life? You're probably gonna say no. <laughs> right, that's the right answer. Um, actually, I would n I would not paraglide ever again. Paraglide. I would take that one back. What yeah. happened? It was fine. I obviously survived, but barely. I mean, it was just so terrifying, and I, and the whole time I just couldn't wait to be on the ground. I didn't enjoy one second of it, and I kept telling myself, "Enjoy this. You're never gonna do this again. You're over the Alps. You know, it's it was, in theory, amazing, but um, too scary." Way too scared. I thought, what was so I thinking? So are you thinking? not an adrenaline junkie? I can be a little bit, but that was just like, I'm just up here in the wind <laughs> in the world, and all I can see is my little feet, and I thought, that's that can't be right. If you're supposed to go by paragliding, then, you know, got to let it happen, I exactly. suppose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is there anything in your bucket list that you do want to do? Oh, gosh. Um, well, I just knocked something off my bucket list, actually. Bucket Hawaii list. was like at the top You're of my never list been for to travel. Hawaii? I had never been to Hawaii. Oh no. my gosh. So, and now I get to live there for three months. I'm shooting a film there. So I've gone, I went from no Hawaii to a whole lot of Hawaii. So I've scratched that one off. So I, I feel good about that. I got to bump a new one up there. Well, there you go. That takes us into our next question. <laughs> nice. About your untitled <laughs> project that nobody knows what the title is yet. Right. What can you tell us about the movie? It's a little bit of a mystery. Yeah, it's um, it's a it's it's a mysterious film. It's quite quirky. It's got a lot of um, different threads going on. There's some romance. There's some uh, military stuff. Um, stuff with satellites and um, yeah, it's kind of it's interesting. Uh, Emma Stone plays um, someone in the military. Bradley Cooper plays um, an ex-military guy. Um, I play a woman who works with. Um, she sort of recovers, um, this is not a big part of the film, but she sort of recovers um, uh, soldiers that were lost in, okay. in various wars and she brings them home, um, their, their bones home, and then they have a whole ceremony for them. And oh I gosh. didn't know that job actually existed, yeah. but it's only in the American um, government where, in all of the world, where they actually bring all their soldiers home, no matter how long ago or when they went missing or Wow. Yeah, it's interesting. That is interesting. What's yeah. it like working with Emma and Bradley? Oh, I'm on a first name basis with them, <laughs> yeah. obviously. Brad. Yeah, Brad. I don't think he likes Brad. No. <laughs> I know, I know. So, okay, we'll stick to Bradley. It's great. It's great. I got. I worked with Bradley, I think it was like 10 years ago now. We did um, Wedding Crashers together. So it's nice to have a reunion and, you know, you have that rapport already and yeah. you, know, you know each other so well. So that's been great. And Emma's just... I mean, I mean you're in Hawaii with... With Emma and Bradley so I know I know it's tough I'm, I'm <laughs> struggling but I'll make it somehow okay. I tweeted out that I was interviewing you today and you know felt around for fan questions and one of them was if you would ever do Wedding Crashers 2 in a heartbeat yeah yeah I would it's actually one of the movies I've had the most fun on people always say you know what, what was the best time you've had on a film and that is probably number one on my list. So, really? It was yeah, it was awesome just cast. a great cast and yeah. had a great energy and we had a lot of fun together. So 
Awesome. Yeah. Well, you've had an amazing career, but in, you took a step back in like 2006, 2007 for a while. What did you learn about yourself during that time? Um, I think I was just kind of reassessing, you know, what kind of career I would hope to have and what kind of parts I wanted to do and um, yeah so so just start I guess just trying to take a, a take a minute because yeah. it's like a current Happen and fast. people want you to do certain roles or continue down a certain path and you know I sort of wanted to explore other avenues so yeah how do you think of. you've changed since you hit it big initially till now <laughs> uh, Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> <A lot. laughs> I don't know. I mean, I feel like I learned so much on every film. You know, it's a steep learning curve, and um, I've, I've, you know, been so fortunate to work with some of the greatest actors in the world and makeup artists and hairstylists. So, um, yeah, I've, I've, I don't know if I could pick out one thing, but um, it's been a real education. Yeah. Well, everyone has this idea of fame and celebrity status, but what are the best and worst parts of it? This is always my favorite oh. question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a good question. It's a really good question. Um, I guess, I mean, I don't know. I love, uh, I love the traveling. Like I said, you know, being able to go to Hawaii and, and not just hang out for a week, you know. You get to, like, actually live there and yeah. go to the local grocery store and get to know people and what it's like. You know, I always think that, like, oh, I should just move to Hawaii and, you know, but really home is... It's the same everywhere. It's just right. a little bit different. So it's nice to to get uh, to dip your toes in in that in those waters, but then you know, just go home at the end of the day. So that's I think one of my favorite parts and the least favorite. <laughs> I don't know these shoes. I mean, they're a blessing and a curse. They're so you know lovely and you know. You'd rather have some flats or boots on? <laughs> Give me a ballet flat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, the shoes. Um, so some fun facts about you that I learned. Well, you're an environmentalist. It's a big thing for you. I like the planet. Yeah. It's my favorite, favorite <laughs> place to be. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad that's your favorite place. What got you started and passionate about that? Um, it actually started with food, which is where so many things start for me. I love food. We have so yeah. much in common. Oh, cool. We like the planet. Yeah. And food. We like to eat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th I think it started there. Like, just I learned a lot about organic food when I was in in theater school. I had a friend who was working at a little organic cafe, and she was like, doesn't the food look different? And I thought she was crazy. And then I really, like, spent some time around it, and I started to see what she was talking about, and then that just kind of got me. I mean, I, growing up, I always spent a lot of time in nature, but I, you know, being Canadian, we spend a lot of time outdoors. <laughs> well, for two months of the year, when it's warm enough. But, um, yeah, so it, st it sort of started there, when I, I think, when I was in, in university. Yeah. Well, speaking of food, I know you worked at McDonald's. I do. You I know the opposite us. of environmental. You gotta tell us a story from McDonald's. Oh, I was I was terrible. I was not a great. Well, I would get a little bit flustered, you know, when get really when it got really busy. And um, one morning, I poured the orange juice mix into the wiring of the orange juice machine. I sort of missed the. <laughs> the place it was supposed to go and it started smoking and short circuiting and no one could have orange juice that morning and the customers were up in arms and I almost lost my oh, job. McDonald's. I know. Oh, man. Yeah, those days were tough, but yeah. Well, made it. see, she's just like everyone else but famous. <laughs> Rachel McAdams, our November girl crush. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> it was nice talking with you. You too.